Hey guys, what's up? This is Matt again and singing with Distortion. <laughs> As I have mentioned in the previous videos already, there are at least two ways that we can engage distortion in our singing. And in this video we will focus more on the fry scream aspect of singing with distortion. Singing with distortion is based mostly on the proportions between clean sound and the distorted one. Yes, it sounds very simple, pretty much obvious, but it is very good to be aware of that fact and then it is easier to achieve any kind of vocal effect when we are masters of proportions in our vocals. In this video I will show you a bunch of useful, very effective exercises of how to master those proportions, how to switch between clean sound and the distorted one and eventually how to combine them for getting distortion connected with our clean singing. The first two exercises are already known by you because I presented them in a previous video about fry scream, but now we will perform them in the context of voice emission and combining distortion with our clean singing voice. The first one is transition from clean voice to vocal fry and to clean voice again. Ah, e The second exercise is to transition from a vocal fry to clean singing voice and back to vocal fry again. The third exercise that will help you to get distortion into your clean singing voice is to take vocal fry, lift it up using your breath support and get back to its lazy form. So it sounds like this. We begin with lazy vocal fry sound, we lift it up using our belly muscles to push it a little bit higher and then again we get back to its lazy form. Remember to keep your larynx and throat relaxed and repeat after me. Remember to not push too much the sound and to use the breath support in a balanced way. Just add it a little by little by little. The higher you go, the little more you give breath support and don't clench your belly muscles too tight because then you will tighten also your throat and larynx and you will lose the distortion. It will sound more unnatural. Uh... Too much vocal folds pressure, it is pretty much exhausting to do it like this and it is not effective way to practice distortion. Too much vocal folds pressure, it should be like When you will get comfortable and totally familiar with those exercises, you can now practice distortion connected with your clean voice. The sound will be totally stupid, but it is the easiest sound that can be done with the distortion and clean voice. And this sound is just yeah, 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 yeah. You can also try to direct the sound on the upper front teeth like this, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Of course, you don't have to do it in so harsh way as I do. You can start with a little bit more tenderness. Yeah, 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 yeah. The most important rule during this exercise is to stay relaxed. Relax your throat, relax your larynx, don't raise it up. Let it be in its natural position, relaxed. Don't push the sound too much. Use breath support, but don't overuse it. Because if you push too much, you will cause tension in your throat and you will squeeze the sound and vocal folds themselves, which will be painful and won't sound too good. So stay relaxed, engage your breath support, but not too much and direct the sound to the area of your upper front teeth and your heart palate, like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do it in a more light way, like yeah, 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 yeah. If it hurts, inflicts any pain, you want to cough after even one or two repetitions, then you are doing something wrong. Maybe you push too much, maybe you put too much pressure on your vocal folds, or maybe you don't use enough of breath support, or maybe you clench your belly muscles too tight. Observe if it hurts, it isn't good, and learn what are you doing wrong. Check out different possibilities, and don't move forward until the issue is resolved. And how do we know if we are doing it right? First of all, it doesn't hurt, it shouldn't hurt. Second, we use enough breath support. So we feel a tension in our belly muscles, like during hissing, like tss, tss, yeah, yeah. So we are sure that we engage our belly muscles and diaphragm and we don't squeeze them. Just enough of breath support. And the last one thing is that we feel vibration that spreads in our mouth in the area of our upper teeth, heart palate and our throat. We feel vibration, but we don't feel any pain. Okay, so here we have it. Few very simple exercises to get and improve your rasp and distortion that you can add to clean singing. And now we will make a short summary. First of all, vocal fry. And so on. Second thing, transition from clean singing voice to vocal fry and back to the clean voice. Ah. Third thing, transition from vocal fry to clean voice and back to vocal fry. Ah. The fourth thing is to lift up higher and higher step by step our vocal fry by adding little by little the breath support. And the last one thing, our yeah, 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 yeah. When you are familiar with yeah, you can try with vowels or different kind of sounds and words. Ah, ah, e, 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 e. You're my mask, you're my cover, my shatter. Do, do my wolf, do my death, you will scapegoat. Do, do my deeds, for you're the one who's blamed. I'm your eyes when you must steal. I'm your pain when you can feel. Sit back, show, and we're a room. Where I lay my head, it's coming here. And remember that distortion can be even harder to achieve than fry scream or growls or any the most dirty, powerful, heavy sounds. So be patient with creating your distortion and focus on precision so it would be totally comfortable and healthy for your voice. Thank you very much for this video. Have a great day, have a great practice, stay extreme, stay vocalized, yeah! I will devour you Take the pain away Pulling you closer, I know 
We can freeze, freeze reality, yeah.